free, you know that. that. I said it in the week. Connection with MLS. Um, the, the fact that this is our first league professional game against Cincinnati. Um, hopefully, the start of a great rivalry. There's, there's so many connectors here that, that make it such an exciting day. Um, we're looking forward to it tremendously. It's a great opportunity for us to, again, try and test ourselves and hit ourselves against one of the top sides in the league, if not the top side. And, you know, my hope is that we continue some of the very positive form that we've shown in our hometown, albeit on a different stadium. They kind of have like a three-headed monster in the attack. Uh, how are you going to be able to account for so many, you know, avenues that they can possibly create? Yeah, somebody asked me yesterday, did, it, did I think they were the, the best side going forward? It, I, I, I mean, I remarked that they were one of a group of very, very exciting teams going forward. And to your point, I think they've got a multitude of riches when it, when it boils down to creative players. And I know that Alan's uh, manoeuvred those guys um, and used them in different situations. But, you know, when you look at individuals like Ledesma and, and Abadawi and uh, Corbin Bone, um, and that's without whoever's going to play up top, um, you, you see the, the type of dimensions they add to the team. What I will say is I think they're a little bit more than just that group. Both outside backs uh, are, are very bright. Uh, they join in their play well, they offer them great width and they're very aggressive in the, in the way that they go forward and, and the way that they um, you know, commit themselves to attacks. The, the biggest challenge we have, of course, is making sure that, as per usual, against the top sides, we, we give very little away. But being at home, we, we offer more than enough going forward to cause them some problems and that really is the game plan talked about just the excitement of the game between these two teams. Do you play that up with your guys at all, or do you try to undercut it a little, just to maintain focus on the game? Uh, games like this, I don't think you need to. Um, there, there are situations that maybe I need to be a little bit more upbeat and, and vocal about how we prepare. We could have 25,000 people in Nissan Stadium tomorrow. It's an exceptional venue. It's a wonderful game against the, the, the current leaders of the Eastern Conference. Great opportunity for us. Uh, and I think it is an opportunity for us. They'll be favourites still, and understandably so. Um, I've always loved being a bit of an underdog. And I think lots of people do, because you can, you can throw caution to the wind a little bit more. Maybe less is expected. But we're at home and we, we plan to put on a good show or as good a show as we possibly can. How much extra juice does that provide playing in the big stadium? As I say, I, I think it gets the guys up it, it, in preparation. It, it just gives them a little bit more of a, a, a you know, you get those butterflies in your, in your stomach as a player. Um, the big occasions always bring more out of any individual, or it should do. If it doesn't, then we've got a little bit of an issue. But th this, this group have shown over a period of time that we, we've come together well. They've got great spirit. We have some very talented and creative players, along with uh, a, a, an extremely determined attitude. And, you know, we're not the only side that have those qualities, but as a brand new franchise, we're delighted with where we're at, and we'd be very pleased to, to find out exactly where that fits against the top side. Do you think you'll be a little more familiar with Nissan Stadium second time around this season? Um, I don't think we've been in there enough for it to be familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, they've, they've relayed that field. It's actually slightly different in terms of uh, you know, how it might play in the, uh, for, for the game against Pittsburgh in the early stages of the season. And I think if you, if you think about where we were at that point, maybe the opponents we were playing against, second game of the season, new season, it, this, this is a very different encounter. Uh, Cincinnati are in really good form, confident form, top of the league. And I think we found ourselves not just in league position, but actually in uh, quality of play. Um, 
confidence of, of the group, understanding and rapport within the team. I, I, you know, I'm delighted with where we're at. I think we've made slightly better strides than I expected. Although what we have been reminded of against the good Indianapolis side is that if you don't prepare well and you take anyone lightly, which is, which is not going to happen this weekend, but if you do take people lightly, strange things happen. Do you feel like the Atlanta game maybe helped you guys get some of that confidence back after the Indy game might have shaken it a little bit? Yeah, there's, there's no doubt. Victories always do that. Three goals, clean sheet again. Um, I felt we played well on the day. Some uh, some very good performances. Some some bright, purposeful play. Some you know opportunities maybe to have extended our lead. But nevertheless, it was a good home victory after our first defeat. And as I was reminded on numerous occasions, our first um, run of defeats. So uh, we, we've we've got to get over all those first hurdles, right? Mm -hmm.